Well, tonight was the bachelor's finale, and uh, I happen not to have gone to work, so I'll have to enjoy it. By the way, I'm not the romantic type of guy, so I guess I'm not interested in stuff like that. But I think the folks that like the bachelorette and all this romance stuff are the ones that like the soap operas, and uh, generally they might have grown up on Sesame Street and Scooby Doo and all these fictitious stuff. Now, in this latest episode here, when um, Jake had liked this lady, and it seemed as though like this doing is gonna marry, and then we learned that she was with some uh, having sex with some member of the staff. I don't believe the crap. You know, I mean, this thing is so staged that there's absolutely no way they'll have that free time to have sex with one another and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, the trivial will believe the crap and, and it's just taken to the next level. So tonight, um, here is uh, Vienna and Tin Lee. And one is a divorce, one who had been married and the other one's single. Now, how I hear him talking, etc., I knew that this is the one that he probably would want. But I don't care, but the show is just that I'm into reality and I'm listening to the voices. I'm turning back to the TV and I'm listening to the voices and I'm hearing the hypocrisy and, and the laughter and the jokey stuff that are going on with But, you know, the others who like it and the millions who across the country who are just excited about it, they're going along with the game. But, I, I'm, you know, I'm not into this stuff. And I guess perhaps because of the hard times, folks, maybe like this oasis of romance to feel a little good about things and so forth. And then we come back to the reality. We need the jobs. We need the economy to be moving. The earthquakes around the place. I could deal with that. I don't need a little, um, you know, a little romantic something like the soap operas to take my mind off of the problems. I could take my mind off of the problems. I don't care what's going on. I mean, I care, but I don't care. I'm not going to have no sleepless nights of anything. But as more and more people get into these kind of soft shows and get into the twilight of being deceived and, and like fictitious stuff, I'm wondering how prepared folks in this world are for the realities of life and uh, how many are really, really embracing what would make things work because they are so conditioned to the fictitious um, stuff. I see a whole bunch of people now are opposing the president and he's on to something real and concrete and something that's meaningful. We need jobs, we need you know, the economy to improve, etc. We need peace around the world, people are suffering. And when you go to it, something practical, folks with these trivial and these fictitious kind of experiences coming out and trying to beat it up because their little fantasy has not come through. So, um, wish Jake well. And um, I, I really, I really don't understand, you know, all these shows on TV now, like, they're preparing us. In fact, when you look at the ads, this guy talking to the uh, meatloaf on the uh, pizza, and pizza, and, and, and the guy talking to the dog about the food he's preparing for him and all this stuff, I mean, you know, we, we're getting so fictitious that I think it's becoming dangerous. Um, these are the same folks who want to protect the nation. They go into certain jobs to protect the nation, but they're so fictitious and, and they take the fictitiousness along with them and um, we end up being uh, put in harm's way. So I, I don't know, um, I guess we have to start up and get a new set of young people coming up that are going to be into some reality out there so we can get the right set of folks to really you know, stay with the job and, and be able to appreciate reality and, and make good decisions. You have Katrina, we have um, and the other hurricane over there folks who, you know oh just stay don't go and so on so I, I'm seeing this trend towards fictitious you know light-heartedness as opposed to serious um, you know profound thinking 